right. the next song I think is probably our favorite four minute song um, Stephen and I yeah and that song is only gained weight yeah <sighs> it's four minutes Ooh. what's up brave sound and brave bravis our podcast for any time you know my you know, love you know my love and you know how song. and you should know how much steven hates me because uh our 2014 retrospective ah, <laughs> never forget josh <laughs> hashtag never forget hashtag never forget uh the funny thing is it's like this song i think was such a good song um but it really just goes to show in k-pop it's all about salience and how much like kind of attention you can grab because this song was um made by brave sound but for his like kind of 10th anniversary like album project yeah he he would like release one song a month uh -huh. and yeah this was one of them so it was not promoted on any music shows it was mm -hmm. not promoted on anything it was just kind of just this rando track mm -hmm. um off his compilation album it actually doesn't even feature all for a minute no it only features hyona gaun and sohyun yeah uh, only three of them uh but like you know, Man. speaking of hashtag never forget, like this is my favorite song of 2014. Yeah. Yeah. It's my favorite four minute song of all time. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite four minute or brave sound intro because mm -hmm. it's hilarious and I love it. Yeah. Brave um, Brass. Yeah. Four minutes. Yeah. Um, and, and for me, like we were actually kind of discussing like, you know, what's our favorite brave, brave sound, sound song, song in general. And this was in in discussion yeah like this i mean he's had so many great songs that we personally love yeah this is definitely maybe top three but like i, I still think this is the best backing track of any brave sound song yeah like maybe i like you know my boy a lot mm -hmm. or maybe i like um you know anyway uh, short, short hair, hair or, or, or like a cat or, or mini skirt yeah. or love options bestie right yeah. like there's so many great songs but i think the backing track and the boobity boobs. This is the best boobity boob of all boobity boob times. Yeah. It's so good. Every time it comes on, I'm just like, holy shit, this is genius. I cannot believe this was not a main song for anybody. Yeah. And that's like, I think this song is very representative of Four Minute as a group. Like, if you say Four Minute, what song comes to mind? For me, it's Hot Issue. But if you say what song kind of represents Four Minute as a group the most, I think it's this song. And the reason Wait, why really? I say that, the reason why I say that is because I really? think Four Minute kind of suffers from this like saliency, like their style and their way of kind of making songs is just not as popular nowadays and they just aren't on people's minds. And so that's why they're kind of just slipping off into this, this riding off into the sunset. And this song kind of is really, really good, has a lot of good things about it, but it's just because it didn't. It wasn't on people's minds that it just wasn't as popular. Yeah, and, uh, I don't know. Do you disagree, Stephen? No, I. Th it's it's like the. I don't know if it's a misunderstanding what you're saying, but mm -hmm. I think you're like equivalenting two things that. Because you're saying like I get what you're saying, which mm -hmm. is like this song didn't gain much traction, mm -hmm. and you're equating that to. Four Minutes Newer songs, which also didn't gain any traction. Yeah. But it's weird for me that you would say that when you think of Four Minute, this yeah. is the song. Like, 
Um, oh, like not, like, not, not, not in a sense of like four minutes, tell me a song, but I mean like this song kind of. Like, is, I think a better way to I, say it is like, I think this uh, four minute has a problem in yeah. the last couple of years, which is yeah. the, they pick a. But the thing is, the, the problem with the, the next era, which I don't want to talk too much about now, mm. is that they picked a genre that is not very popular in mm. Korea. Mm. Like, I don't, I think. The reason this song didn't gain much traction was just because it was a Brave Brothers compilation song. It, w- mm. it wasn't because it was a... Like, it, the reasons that they, this song and, and later on 4 Minutes songs mm. have saliency issues are totally different. Mm. So, like, I, I get they both have saliency issues, but I yeah. just don't think they belong in the same category. And you're kind of mm. lumping them together. Fair but, enough. But, but, but I get what you're saying. You're, yeah. you're saying that, like, um, you know... Four minute has an issue of saliency of, uh, of like being in people's minds. Yeah, and it didn't help that this song was, you know, a, a, a throwaway kind of song. Yeah, um, and this song was really good. That's why. Yeah, and I think Four Minute as a group, like I think they were actually putting out, or, I mean, I don't want to jump ahead, but I think they were putting out kind of music that was enjoyable, but it's just not what people were looking for. Right. I just think there's a big difference between a song that only features three of them, is not promoted at all, doesn't have a music video, yeah. compared to Two. a song like Crazy, which is promoted to hell and hell back, back. yeah. And still, you know, just not can't what people are grab for. onto, yeah. right? Like, I think those are two totally different mm. uh, issues. Um, but, you know, either way, like, you know, for me, mm. for four minutes, if I can only listen to one four minute song for the rest of my life, It'd be it this is one. this song, hands down. I think for um, me as well. And, you know, despite, you know, me, like, you know, to everybody this is you know not four minute at all like Mm -hmm. i don't care like as a song this is this is my shit yeah and i think a lot of people don't know about this song right because again they they didn't promote it there's Mm -hmm. no music video Mm -hmm. um but hopefully you discovered our podcast you stayed at least until this moment and And you're like i'm gonna give the song a listen yes because you should yeah um because again even though josh likes this song it was not on his list for top 14 or top 10 of 2014. And I will never forget that up until my he, death. He will never forgive me for that. Like, I get not being number one. I get not being, but like, not even on your list, bro. I, I know I remember, I feel like we discussed this and you were just kind of like, I forgot that song existed. And that's yeah, why I didn't put it I on. I did really forget it existed just because it was just so, it didn't have a music video, right? And it was kind of just. I think it was the first song I ever, like, because uh, I used to be really strict about which songs we talked about, right? Like, oh, it needs to have, have a music, music video. video. Mm-hmm. Can't be an OST song, right? Mm-hmm. It needs to be a dedicated. So it can't be like a B-side rando single, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but like this song was just so damn good. I was just like, we Yo, have to. We just got to talk about this. Yeah.